We got Brother Jumby on the line. What up, Brother Jumby? What do you got? You, you hear the cook, Pearl? Can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah I can hear you. Yeah, I, I, I have a real disdain towards the sick Negroes in the chat. It's like two of them who said they smashed Pearl. <laughs> that hit me. That didn't sit right with my spirit, bro. It didn't sit right with my spirit, bro. Because, listen, man, that's just gross. Pearl is built like her final form is Bruce Jenner. Pearl is built <laughs> like a strength and conditioning coach for the Special Olympics, fam. Like, like, bro, this lady is built like a Disney Pixar penguin, fam. You going to hit that? You gross, dog. I guarantee you catch this woman after a night of clubbing, and you go and clap those pasty, pasty flatbacks, the whole room going to smell like a goddamn bologna sandwich, fam. The whole room. She got the hairline of Gary Busey. Her shit back here. Her shit back here, bro. And these niggas out here talking about they going, something wrong with you niggas, fam. Like, out of all, out of all the mid-broads, the below fives, the butter faces, the mud ducks and the swamp things, you're going to pick a six-foot fucking mattress monster to cape for you're something <laughs> wrong with you bro God, nice. something's wrong with you she wears a size 13 in men's i put my left arm on that have you seen this lady's foot lt god damn what is wrong with these niggas like this the type of shit right here when i see shit like that in the chat this the type of the shit to make me want to go far right conservative and just hate niggas fam like what are you doing bro yo those are this not, is what those are not the normal chat niggas that are saying that those are some agents from pro chat there's somebody that i've never seen in my goddamn life in the chat say putting smut on duke's name saying duke would clap those yeah. cheeks just trying to disrespect duke's name like yo what, what's going on out here i don't believe those how are you going to do my brother niggas. How they gonna do brother Duke like that, man? That man is not gonna sacrifice everything that Igbo have went through to mess with a goddamn. <laughs> this is not the women that Martin Luther King took a brick in the face for, fam. Y'all gotta level up, bro. Oh my God. Y'all gotta level up. And that's all I wanna say to you sick Negroes. We gotta do better, man. Cause if you trying to take that home, you need Jesus. That's what you need. You need Jesus, Yahweh, and Muhammad. You might want to holler at Buddha too, you sick motherfuckers. But that's all, LT. <laughs> Shout out to you, brother Jumby. Hey, keep cooking. Respect in. John says, Jumby, you lucky I am at work and can't call in. What? You guys oh, he's dropping off the line. Shout out to John with the $2. I'm getting rich. Ah. Now, salute to brother Jumby for calling in and cooking Pearl. Cooks the niggas that say they would they would smash y'all niggas need to be ashamed of yourselves y'all are under review we putting you on probation we're putting you on probation y'all are under review nah i'm playing I, i'm not there's no dick policing out here pause but i don't believe that those are normal chat niggas all right all right good because i just make sure i'm on break right now so i got a couple minutes but uh no nah, yeah i wanted i wanted to holler back at that because i i put a one first Cause I thought you were gonna say put a one if you would have hit that, oh. and then I changed it to two. I changed it to two. So yeah. So I'm just saying, you know, let's be let's be real about it. No cap. I ain't gonna lie. I probably hit a bunch of bitches uglier than her. I've hit a bunch of bitches hotter than her. So would I hit Pearl at who she is now? No, I'm married. First of all, if I got divorced, probably not. I'd have to be desperate. So why did you but, put a two in there? Oh, cause in the past you fucked girls. Like that's what I was saying. If you hit a girl like Pearl, would I would I hit Pearl in the past? Yeah, I probably would. <laughs> if I was twenty two again, I probably would. I ain't gonna lie. I'd hit that. Oh man. So you, you, you hit these six foot one Sasquatch that are built like a fridge, flat on the front, flat on the back. Yeah. Bro, I had a six foot four chick when I was doing uh ROTC at Notre Dame. She didn't look that ugly though. But she was six foot four. That's three inches taller than me. <laughs> hey. I, I ain't policing out here. I ain't policing out here. You came out here to say chest out. You ain't hiding like the other niggas. The other niggas ain't. They, nah, they nah, ain't nah. I ain't hiding. Of course not, man. I, I've had short, fat women. I had a woman that she looked like she was 300 pounds and five foot one. Jesus Christ. To be fair, I was a fuck boy, though, so, you know. Yeah. Getting pussies, getting pussy. That was my logic. <laughs> Yo, don't let niggas. Hey, man, when you're 22, you do it. 
Don't, say what? Don't let niggas lie to you. Because that's why I'm saying men lie a lot. Because a lot of men will lie to you and be like, yo, pussy's pussy. Pussy has no face. Lead a lot of men astray and have niggas out here just fucking women to fuck women and have no standards. And then that's why they end up with dusty baby mothers. Or, you know, they fuck up. Sometimes. Oh, yeah. I ain't got none of that. I ain't got none of that, man. If you don't do that, be smart. Wrap up. Wrap twice. It's like that old uh, IMX song. Make sure you strap twice. What is that? Marquise Houston. What? <laughs> strap oh, up God. twice. What is this Jesus shit? Fuck yeah, bitches out here be nasty. Yeah. Niggas out here be nasty, man. I know, I know dudes that got like chlamydia from chicks that you know <laughs> they were fucking with, even when they had like baby mamas and girlfriends and shit. Got chlamydia and be bragging about that shit. Trying to get people sick. Yeah, they they act like chlamydia is oh it just goes away. It's nothing. That that's how you hear folks talk when they when they're. Just, and strapping twice, yeah. Moxie says strapping twice doesn't work. I don't even think that's possible. How do you get two Jimmys on? Like, what part of the game is that? Don't let me, man. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just quoting that song. I just, I'm just quoting that song because it was the first thing that popped up. But nah, nah, yeah. I ain't got no baby mamas, thankfully. I only got one and I married her, so. Perfect. That's bad. So we've been together for 10 years, so I've been out the game for a minute. So I don't know how they be at now. But, yeah, back in the day, man, it was you hit out the bar and any woman that was feeling you, if you were drunk enough, you took him somewhere. Do you, do you think home. that's fair to say just because you smashed a, a girl that's not as attractive or worse than Pearl in the past that you would now? If, if, or people that did it in the past, just because they did it in the past, do you think it's fair to say that, oh, you would do it now because you fucked a, you, you fucked a grenade in the past type shit? Because you, would, uh, you said that's, you, you that, put a no, you, but you're married and you you, you, you make a fair would. point. You make a fair point. Yeah, you make a fair point. Like like now, no hell no. She she looked like a fucking hairless yeti. I ain't fucking with that. <laughs> but that's now. But that's now. Because cause I'm on different shit. Because I'm married. I'm out the game. I got mine. You know what I mean? I got kids. I got a whole family. I I do all my own shit. But like that's what I'm saying. Like if I'm thinking with my 22 year old dick, Pause. I would have Pause. to say yeah. Yeah. All right. You know? Well, so, shout out to you for you're you're your, your doubling down on your point, your chest out saying that you would you would have in the past. Hey, but hey, but you know, but you know, it was a it was a brother that made her turn turn that way because she wasn't getting satisfied with them white boys. Just putting that out there. I don't think she was getting interest from them white boys. That's why that's why people in the chat did not believe that niggas were. That's, oh, that's true. true you too. were saying that too. That's you true didn't too. That niggas could yeah, I was saying. It. I was like, them ones is white boys. Yeah. I think I think one of them what was his name, Cristo. Crystal, he looked like he was Hispanic. Yo, we gotta keep, now, I might be wrong. It just We got to keep it a stack. We know that the white girls that are a bit overweight or out of shape, they come to the nigga section and niggas is just open arms to these girls. Where the white guys are passing yeah. up on them all day, niggas will be open to them type of yeah. white girls. That's why it was not surprising that the yeah. black manosphere, yeah. those guys caped for Pearl. Jimmy James just dropped a $5 super chat saying Pearl looks like a slice of uncooked bacon. So there's that. Like, that's the way people look at Pearl. It's like... Yeah. yeah, you ain't wrong though. Like, like. Oh my bad. Let me, oh yeah, yeah. Chat, you bro. ain't wrong. You know, you ain't wrong. Yeah, we be we we been I and me and a whole bunch of my niggas, man. We we used to hit up some some of the nasty ass white girls. Sometimes they be hella nasty. But then again, we we get lucky and get some good ones too. So you know, it evens out. It evened out. It balanced out. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I, I I gotta head back, but I that was good chatting with you, man. All right, shout out to you, John. Salute for. All right, later. All right, let me pull up these super chats. I'm juggling a lot here. Hold up, y'all. I'm getting ready.